Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video. This time it is for Rosie Studio. I am a guest designer featuring their brand new Oh Joyful Day collection. I'm super excited to show you all this process. Uh, the previous video uh, before this, uh, it was an unboxing of this gorgeous collection. So I'm really excited to show you guys uh, a layout using it. So I am just trimming down a few of these pattern papers. I'm using that diagonal gold foil striped one as my base. And I trimmed that green uh, tree to a, I think it was an 11 by 11, if I can, if I'm not mistaken. And then this was a 10 and a half by 10 and a half. And then I trimmed a piece of textured white cardstock to a 10 by 10, uh, just to add more pattern. And then it just, cause you know me, I love a white background. I think it's a great way to highlight a lot of the patterns. Um, but I'm just, a, I just, a, I love a white, a white background. Anyways, okay, so I took uh, the six by six paper pad and then I'm, I cut down uh, three three by three squares and then I am going to cut down um, another smaller square to fit inside of those. And I think that was maybe two and a half by two and a half, I think. I believe so. Um, and then I am gonna also map my two photos um, using another piece from that six by six paper pad. These photos are of my daughter um, back in December she, I had caught her this really cute uh, Santa hat and she had on some Christmas jammies. So I thought these would be perfect. I wanted to, since I had two two by two photos, I thought it would be fun to have the three by three squares um, feature two of the photos and then the center square would hold my title and some embe embellishments. So I used one of the chipboard frames just in, the, in that middle square and then from the sentiments die cut pack, I did use the Merry Christmas as my title and now I'm just going through the other smaller phrases to see if there's other pieces that I can add in there um, as well. So I did actually pull some of the gold foil scallops and then some of those flags. So I put it the top left and the top right. That's what's great about their duplicate um, embellishments is because if you do um mirror like like i've said before in previous videos if you do have mirrored embellishment clusters these are perfect because you can have um you know one one el uh, element on in one cluster and then another element in, like in the other one um yeah so anyways i haven't adhered those down but those um are gonna go in the top left and bottom right well while, while i was gabbing um i did add some of those leaf elements right under that center frame i did pick a few other phrases and i added it on my f or i added them on my two photos and now i'm going through the actual die cuts on um, like the icons and i'm choosing a few of those i've pulled out some of the chipboard uh, stickers as well I'm mainly looking for like smaller elements because my photos are, you know, smaller. I didn't want, um, I wanted everything to kind of go together. And like I've said, like I keep saying this, right? Like I, like I've said in previous videos, when I do somewhat of a grid design, I like to treat each square or circle or whatever shape I, cr I choose for my grid. I like to treat them as their own little layouts, uh, and have their own embellishment clusters inside each, you know, shape. So I have like a little Santa, I have a little snow globe. Oh, this, this collection is so cute. And you get so much product in each of these like embellishment packs, like the die cut sentiments and like the die cut like icons. Look how many you get. Oh my gosh, I could create like 80 more layouts with this collection. And um, yeah, and I'll, I'd probably still have more, like more than enough afterwards. But yeah, they're so cute. I couldn't like decide what I wanted. I added like an ornament like um under my title i wanted like them to dangle i am gonna add like a bigger one you'll see here in just a minute but i just liked that look um and i i like having things cascade down i, I really like that look especially with that greenery it was perfect um so i did add some like um peppermint candies i added some poinsettia floral pieces what else am i tucking in oh i added these strings of lights i cut it in half and um added one on the right and one on the left. I think that's it. I did add some gold splatters off camera um, and you can see that in the final photos, but I think that's it. I, oh, I am going to add a little bit, a few more um, little candies, but I, oh God, this collection is so, so cute. And um, yeah, I love it. So here is an up close shot of this layout. Thank you so much to Rosie Studio for having me as a guest designer. Definitely go check out this collection over on their website. I'll have it linked in the description box below, but uh, thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!